Welcome Grade 10 Math students to the most happening channel on YouTube, Mr. Jensen Math 10. Okay, today we're going to continue working with quadratics in vertex form. The objective of today is that if we are given the graph of a parabola, we're going to write the equation of it in vertex form. So if we are given the graph, we're going to write the equation in vertex form. What we did in our last lesson was I gave you the equation and you then had to graph it. Today we're working the opposite way, so graph to equation. So if we're given the graph, like this nice parabola here, we want to be able to write the equation of that parabola in vertex form, which is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. And we've learned in previous lessons how if we alter a, h, and k, it transforms the parabola. If you need to review that, please go back and watch the tutorials on the investigation of transformations of quadratics. Good. So the whole idea of today, we want to be able to, if we see the graph, we want to be able to then write the equation. Before we do that, let's do one quick review example of going from the equation to the graph. So this is like the questions we did on the previous lesson. So if I give you the equation of y equals negative 2 x minus 4 squared plus 3, plus 3, describe the transformations from y equals x squared. So how has the parabola changed compared to our most basic parabola y equals x squared? We need to first pick out our a, h, and k values. There's our a, h, and k. Let's jot those down. So our a is negative 2. Our h is positive 4, and our k is 3. If we're still having trouble with figuring out our a, h, and k values, especially with remembering that h is positive 4 in this instance, please go, watch and back, go, wa go back and watch the previous lessons. OK, so now that we have our a, h, and k values, we can describe our transformations. So we know that our a is negative 2. And we know that if a is less than negative 1, negative 2 is less than negative 1, it's going to be vertically stretched. So this parabola is going to be vertically stretched. by a factor of 2. That a value is negative, so that means that it's going to be reflected in the y, oh sorry, reflected in the x-axis. Reflected in the x-axis. And what that means is that the parabola is going to be flipped upside down. That x-axis is going to act as a mirror. Our k value is positive 3. So we'll do k next. When k is positive, the parabola moves up. So our parabola is going to shift up 3 units. Our h value is positive 4. When h is positive, it moves to the right. So it's going to shift up 3 units, and then 4 to the right. Shift up 3, 4, right. Good. So that's the description of that parabola. Now we want to be able to use that to help us graph. So here's the equation. In order to graph this, we need to choose good values for x that we want to plot the points of. I've shown us which values we want. We want 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Why I've chosen these values is because I know 4 is the x-coordinate of the vertex. So I've placed that in the middle, and then we want values on either side of the vertex so that we get a nice looking graph. So we know our vertex is hk. I'll just make a quick little note up here. Vertex is hk. And if we look back to what our h and k values are, it's 4 and 3. So our vertex, in this instance, is 4, 3. 
Good. So our vertex is 4, 3. If I go and plug 2 into this equation for x, I should figure out that when I plug 2 into that equation, my y value is going to be negative 5. If I plug 3 in for x, my value for y is going to be 1. Now at this point, I don't even have to bother plugging 5 and 6 in because I know parabolas are symmetrical. Okay, so I know that if I moved left from the vertex 1, so if I went from 4 to 3 on the x-axis, um, my, my y value was at 1. So if I move right 1 on the x-axis, so from 4 to 5, my y value should also be 1 because parabolas are symmetrical. And then moving right 2, it should be the same y value as if I moved left 2. So I should get negative 5 again. Now I just have to plot these points. The first point I'll plot is my vertex. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4 on the x-axis, and then 1, 2, 3 on the y-axis. Plot a point. Now let's go left. So at 3 on the x-axis, it should be 1 on the y. And at 2 on the x-axis, it should be negative 5. So it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units down. Now, if I remember parabolas are symmetrical, I can plot these other points fairly easily. And then take my time and connect these points with a nice smooth curve. Better than I do on the smart board in class. There we go. Perfect. There's the graph of the parabola y equals negative 2 x minus 4 squared plus 3. So that's what we learned yesterday. What we're going to learn today is if I give you this graph, you then tell me the equation. Okay, So let's look at a question like that. So here's the question. Determine the equation for the parabola in the form y equals ax minus h squared plus k. So that's vertex form. If it has a vertex at 1, 5, and it passes through the point 0, 2. So if the parabola looks like this, the vertex is at 1, 5 and it passes through point zero 0,2. So my parabola is going to look roughly like this. So I've told you this is what the parabola looks like. Now I want you to tell me the equation of that parabola. The first step is to determine the vertex, and I've told you that in the question. The vertex is 1, 5. The second step is to find another point on the parabola. I've told you that it passes through point zero 0,2. So here's another point, zero, 0,2. Okay? Let's think about what these values mean. Okay? When we write the equation of a parabola in vertex form, um, hk is the vertex. So we already know h and k. Okay? The x and y values, the x and y values of um, the x and y values in vertex form stand for all the all the points on the parabola. So every one of these points on the parabola has an x and a y value. That's what these stand for, these x and y values. So this zero and two are x and y values on that parabola. So this is an x and a y value. Okay. So what we have now, we have values for h and k. So we have values for h, k, and x, and y. The only value we don't know is a. So in order to write the equation of this parabola, we need to figure out the value of a. The way we can do that is sub in our h, k, x, and y values, in for those corresponding variables into the um, vertex form equation and then we can solve for a. Once we've solved for a, we can write the equation. So I've written the description of what we're going to do down here as well. So the third step would be to plug the vertex and the other point into the equation y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So let's solve for a. So our vertex, so hk, oh, we don't want to write in highlighter. So I'll just rewrite what we discovered on the last page. Our vertex was 1, 5. And our other point was, was it 0 something? Yeah, it was 0, 2. Other point was 0, 2. So this is our H, K, this is our X, Y. X, Y. So the vertex form is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Plug in all our values. We get 2 is equal to a, which we don't know. That's the only variable we don't know. x is 0 minus h is 1 plus 5, because k is 5. Now we can simplify this. 2 is equal to a. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Let's try and write that a bit neater. 2 is equal to a negative 1 plus 5. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. So we have a times positive 1 plus 5. Let's move the 5 to the other side. 2 minus 5 is equal to a times 1 is just a. So we have negative 3 is equal to a. Good. So our a value, a equals negative 3. We've discovered our a value. So when we write the equation of a parabola, we fill in values for everything except for x and y. Because x and y can stand for the coordinates of any point on the parabola. So when we write the general equation, we don't want to sub in values for x and y. We want to sub in values for a, h, and k. So our finalized formula is going to be y equals negative 3, x minus h is 1, so minus 1, and our k is 5, plus 5. There we go. There is the equation of the parabola. That's not too bad. Easy enough. Let's go on and do another example. 